Hello. 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 Okay. So let's see how this looks in my office. The good news is, I noticed in some reviews, the Ansel was clicking a whole, or not the Ansel, but the comparable models were clicking a lot. Good news is, as I suspected, once it got warmed up, it stopped clicking so much. So it's interesting to know that the calibration is much different. Okay, so the range is pretty close. Let's see, 96, about 96 to, well, okay. Yeah, so they're similar. The top line and bottom line are similar. Man, that framer really makes a difference. I never realized how much. Okay. Right, let's go downstairs real quick, look at some stuff and see. Like, you have to move in slow motion with the uh, FLIR. Because 25 hertz is basically the same as like a movie theater, so that's a big difference. And these cameras are hooked up to the same thing right now, so they're moving with each other. So it's not like I'm trying to replicate things. This is they're moving the exact same places at the exact same time. And that's different. Let's go outside real quick and see what happens. Put on my shoes. Boots. All right, now we got the predator vision. The world on fire. Check out the chicken coop. Chickadoos. Yeah, there's a big difference in usability between these two things. I can find any critters. Solar array. <clears throat> what if you can hear that? It has triggered the uh, pest repellent sensor. Man, that footage is different. What I'm noticing besides the frame rate, more importantly, not just the actual frame refresh rate, there seems to be a delay on the FLIR. Where it's not, you know, I would expect it to just be like the same footage, but just less frequently updated. But there's actually a lag behind. Oh, there's, there's one of the reasons my panels are not doing well. Let me pull that out. Ooh, that, that's sticky. That's sticky. I'm going to have to rip that out later. Son of a bitch.
Okay, I can write that out, write that out later. Okay. So let's see what else. Well, there's a difference in distance. Okay, so it looks like I can see the mower in the end, so I can barely see the other one. Yeah, there really is a difference. Some of it is resolution. Some of it is the net D noise. You see like this, like the grass makes more sense here, where it's mostly light colored because you know it's absorbing the light. Small red spots, but you see the noise on the on the uh, FLIR. The red spots look a lot bigger, and those spots that are light are brighter color are where the dead grass is. So it's dead grass, so it's carbon matter. It's brown. It absorbs the heat differently. But you would think half my lawn is dead grass from the way the FLIR looks. We've got the garden. You come here and pick some peppers. Alrighty, I think that is... Oh, shit, my camera's... I have batteries uncovered. Let's see what the solar battery looks like right now. Yeah, this is much better. Like, this is usable as an actual camera. So I see why they don't need to have the fusion modes anymore. Let's look at the air conditioner real quick. That should be my last thing, I think. Ooh, this camera's a little crooked. All right, how do I look? Hello. Oh well. Ah. Each one looks like a monster, but a different kind of monster. Ah. 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 <laughs> yeah, cut that. God, that frame is. I think that frame is getting slower. It might be why they say it's like around 8.7 hertz or something. It looks like it might be losing frame rate as it goes, but I like how this one just clearly just boom. See, it's like, ooh, it just moves where it goes. It just clicked, yeah. Yeah, this is impressive. And the crazy thing is, that the this is like what, $250 camera, maybe $200 camera. But the FLIR, which is clearly an inferior camera, is $400 still after all these years. It's got a sensor that's like much smaller. It's got a sensitivity that's much lower. That's crazy.